Hello grade 10 students. Today I am here to teach you last chapter in your textbook that's scale diagrams chapter 32. In grade 9 you have discussed about scale diagrams with bearings for horizontal plane. But today we are discussing about scale diagrams in the vertical plane. Now let's take we want to draw the land on a piece of paper. Can we draw? We need a big paper. With a scale, we can draw your land on a piece of paper. Also, we can draw smaller one to a bigger paper. Where you use that? In lab, when we look at cells, you see very small cells with the microscope, you make it bigger and try to draw the diagram. So what we are doing in scale diagrams? Very big diagrams, we try to draw on a paper with a small scale and very small ones, we try to make it bigger. So we'll, today we'll see how we can draw scale diagrams in the vertical plane. So for scale diagrams we need a scale. So there are several ways of writing scale. Sometimes you can write in words one centimeter represent five meters. Sometimes we can use arrows to represent the scale. One centimeter represent five meters or the way around. Five meters represent one centimeter using an arrow. Or you can write as a ratio. One centimeter represent five meters but when you write as a ratio, you can't write with different units. So what we do, we convert to the same unit. 1 centimeter, 500 centimeters. Then you don't need to write down the units. So centimeter, centimeter get cancelled out. You can write 1 to 500 scale. So remember, when you want to write down the scale, we can use three, these three methods. Now we'll see how we can find out lengths. Finding actual length if the scale is given. So here look at this example. One centimeter represent five meters given. Find the actual length if the scale length is four centimeters. So how can we do that? So we can write. 1 centimeter represent 5 meters then 4 centimeters is you need to multiply this by 4 5 times 4 so what's the answer 20 meters here this one 1 centimeter represent 3 kilometers find the actual length for 5 centimeters again you can use the scale 1 centimeter represent 3 kilometers. Then 5 centimeter represent 3 times 5. That means 15 kilometers. Look at the other one. 1 centimeter represent 200 meters. Find the actual length for 3.5 centimeters. So we can do that. 1 centimeter represent 200 meters. Then 3.5 centimeter means you have to multiply this by 3.5. So how can we multiply 3.5 times 2? 7 and then you get 2 zeros. So 700 meters. Now we'll do other way around. How can we find out the scale length if the actual length is given? 
find the scale length for 10 meters. Now, 1 centimeter represents 2 meters. So, what we do, we write down other way around. 2 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then you need 10 meters. What you do? 1 divide by 2 multiply by 10. So, what's the value? 2 times 5, 10. So, you get 5 centimeter scale length representing 10 meter actual value. This one, 1 centimeter represent half, half a kilometer. Find the scale length for 12 kilometers. So, we can write other way around. Half a kilometer represent 1 centimeter. Then, 12 kilometers is 1 divide by half multiplied by 12. So, what is 1 divide by half? 1 divide by half means 1 times 2. 2 over 1. Take the reciprocal. So, you get 2 here. 2 times 12. What is 2 times 12? 24 centimeter represent 12 kilometers. So, you need to know both ways. If you have given the scale length, how to find out the actual one. If you know the actual length, how can we find out the scale length? Now we'll look at what's angle of elevation. Now in grade 9, when you were doing scale diagrams, we used bearings to measure a position on a horizontal plane. Now, how can we measure the angles on a vertical plane? We call those angles are angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, we'll see what are those. Now, think about there's a person. Now, take the ground level. This is the ground level. And eye level is somewhere here. So here we will write, this is the eye level. Now this person wants to look at the top of the building. Think about this is the top. So he wants to look at this side. So this is the eye level. And this is the line of vision. So, what is angle of elevation means? This angle. Always we measure with the eye level. The angle between the line of vision and the eye level we call angle of elevation. So, always this position should be above the eye level, then we call angle of elevation. Now think about a person is on top of a building. So we'll first take the ground level. So this is the ground level. There's a building. So this, there's a building and this person is on top of that. Now he wants to look at down. So he wants to look, there's a, there's a dog here. He wants to look at the dog. When he looks at the dog, what happens? He looks down like this and where's the eye line? Eye level is here. So the angle between eye level and the line of vision is called the angle of depression. So, 
basically what happens in the angle of depression you are looking down so here the angle normally you are looking something below the eye level then we call this is angle of depression so this is if it's theta this way we measure angle of depression this way theta this way we measure the angle of elevation so in scale diagrams in the vertical plane these two angles are very important now how can we measure this angle angle of elevation and angle of depression we need to use the clinometer you can easily make this at home so how can we make a clinometer at home take a piece of cardboard and you need to draw a semicircle like this and you can take like radius 10 centimeter and then mark this position is 0 and 10 degrees so here using a protractor you can measure angles and this should be 90 so this is 10 20 like that you can mark the angles again this way you can mark 10 20 like that and this should be 90 degrees so that's the cardboard then what you do you take a straw and keep you have to fix it on top of that so I can I take another color to show that take a straw and fix the straw on top of that and take a thread you have to tie here and a small weight you have to attach so a stone or something a small weight so that's all so then it's a clinometer so what happens when you want to look up so when you are looking up you can look through this straw and the clinometer goes like this so from this side you can measure the angle of elevation from the left side what happens when you look down when you look down this way so from this side right hand side you can measure the angle of depression so it's really easy you can make it in school grade 9 in school I hope that you made this clinometer to measure angles now we'll do exercise 32.1 write down whether the angle marked with a letter in each picture is an angle of elevation or angle of depression so what we mentioned before angle of depression means when you look down below the eye level you get angle of depression above the eye level you get angle of elevation now see this is the person and this is the eye level this angle is below the eye level so what is this a angle is angle of depression second one this is the person so eye level is here and looking at above something so this is above the eye level line of vision is above the eye level that's called angle of elevation this one here this is the line of vision and here this is the angle this is the eye level what's the angle angle of 
elevation. This one, here this is the person and this is the eye level, so looking up, so above the eye level, so X is angle of elevation and there's another angle here looking down, then Y angle is angle of depression. Exercise 32.2. From a suitable position, find the angle of elevation of each of the points given below using the clinometer you made. The top of the flagpole at your school, the top of a building, the top of a tree in your school. So this is an activity for you. You can make a clinometer here. You have to go to school and then look at the flagpole and Measure the angle using the clinometer and also the top of a building. You can select a building in your school, use the clinometer and measure the angle. Here also the top of a tree in your school. So these three activities you have to do it in school and measure the angles using clinometer. Now we'll see how we can draw scale diagrams in the first Question, you have given 12 meter length and 60 degree angle and you are asked to find out BC. So what's the first step? We have to take a scale. So we'll take 2 meters. We'll take 2 meters is 1 centimeter. That's our scale. Then what's the scale length if it's 12 meters? You take 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 12, you get 6 centimeter length. You need to represent 12 meter actual length. So what we do, we take first draw a line and then we need to measure 6 centimeter length. So what we can do, we can mark a position Take the ruler and measure 6 cm length. So here 6 cm is here. Mark it. And then what you do? You have to measure 60 degree angle. How can we measure? We can use protractor. Take the protractor. Keep here, make sure that you keep on top of the line here, this line should be on top of your line and then we measure 60 degree angle. So 60 degree from here, so you can mark a line. Then what you do, take the ruler and connect the line. So here. This should be 90 degrees in the diagram. So you have to draw a long line that intersects with the vertical line. So here what you can do, you draw a line like this. And then this should be 90 degrees now, 90 degree angle. So how can we draw 90 degree angle? Either you can use the protractor to measure the angle, keep the protractor here and measure 90 degree or what's the other method you can measure 90 degree angle? You can take set square. So here if we can keep this set here, we can measure 90 degree angle. So we can First, take the set square here on top of this. So here, this line should tally with the, this one. Keep it here and then here, you can mark the 
line. So that's the 90 degree angle. So here I can draw the line here. So this is the diagram. So we can mark we took 6 centimeter here, 60 degree angle. Then you are asked to find out this vertical height. So what you do? You, you can measure. So here you can measure from this. You keep it here and see what's the length there. So here we get 10.4 centimeter length. So 10.4, you can write it here, 10.4 centimeter. Now we need to find out the actual length. How can we do? So we have to convert this to actual length. What's the actual length? We took the scale as 1 centimeter represent 2 meters. So what about 10.4 centimeters. 2 divided by 1 into 10.4. Then this becomes meter. So what's the value? 2 times 4, 8 and 20. So the actual length of this BC is 20.8 meters. Now we'll take the next one. So next one, so we'll take this one. So here, 10 meter length given and 30 and 70. And you're asked to find out PC length. So what's the first step? We have to draw a line to represent this one. So we'll take a line first. So we'll draw a line and then we have to mark a position somewhere there and that's A. And then we'll use the same scale. 10 meters means what's the scale length we need to take? 2 meters is 1 centimeter. Then 10 meters is multiplied by 10 you get 5 centimeter length. So what we do? You take the ruler, keep here, keep on top of the line. Here, keep on top of the line and then measure 5 centimeter length. So 5 centimeter length you can measure here. Then that's, so you can mark it. This is A, this is B. And we took 5 centimeter length. Now we need to measure the angle. So what we do? Take the protractor. Keep on top of this one, this line on top of your line. Then measure 30 degree angle. 30 is somewhere here. So mark it. And then draw a line. So how we draw a line? Take a line and from this point you draw a line. Then what's the next step? You have to draw 70 degree angle. So take the protractor, keep on top of this point and then measure 70 degree angle. So here from here we can measure 70 degree angle here. Then draw, connect this one with the ruler. So here take the ruler and and the intersecting point is the P point. So how can we draw a vertical line now? 
this is 90 degrees. So, to draw a vertical line, you can take the z square and then you can keep it here. Adjust this one, the z square with this point here and you can draw the vertical line. So, you can take the ruler and draw the line. So that's 90 degree angle. So here this is 90 degrees and this is 30 and this is 70. Now we need to measure this length. This is P point and this is C. So PC length. So you can use the ruler and measure the length. So roughly I get 3.8. So 3.8 is the scale length. Then what's the actual length? Actual length is you need to multiply this by 2. So 3, 1 centimeter is 2 meters. So what about 3.8 centimeters? You have to multiply this by 2. So multiply 2 times 8, 16. 1 remaining, 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7. So 7.6 meters is the PC length. Now we'll take this one. So 40 meter length is given. This is 30, this is 70. And you're asked to find out PQ length. So we need to draw this correct to the scale. So what's the scale we can take? In this question, 40 meters given. So what, what is the suitable scale? We can take 5 meters represent 1 centimeter. If you take this scale, you need 40 meter length. So what is 40 meter means? 1 divided by 5 multiplied by 40. So you need 8 centimeter length to represent 40 meters. Now we'll draw the diagram. So what's the first step? Draw a line and then take a point, any point here and then measure 8 centimeters using the ruler. So keep the ruler here here, you need to be careful. This ruler should be tally with the this one. And then mark 8 centimeter length. So this one is 8. Then you have to use the protractor. Measure 30 degree angle here. So keep this one on top of this and then you need to measure 30 degree angle. So from this side 30 is here and then draw the line. Line with the ruler, draw, draw this line. Now we need to measure 70 degree angle. So you take the protractor here, keep it here and measure 70 degree angle this way. So you have to measure this way. So here from here, what's the value there? So in your protractor, you can read 70, but I have to take 180 minus 70, 10. So here, this way 70. So this way 70 means this way that's 110. So, you need to draw the line. From here, you can draw the line. Now, the intersecting point is the P point. So, I'll mark this is 30 and this is 70. Now, we need to draw the perpendicular line. 
So what's the suitable way to draw a perpendicular? You have to use your set square. So take the set square, keep on top of the line first. If it's not okay, so just rotate it. Keep it on top of that and see how we can draw with the P point. The P point, keep it towards P point and then draw a line. Then draw the line. So that's the 90 degree angle. So this is 90 degree angle. Now we can measure the PQ length. So take this one and you can measure using that. So keep on top of this line and now measure. So what's the value? So I get 4 centimeters for that. So 4 centimeters here. This is PQ. I get 4 centimeters. Now how can we find out the actual length? 4 centimeter is this. So in this scale, 5 meter. 1 centimeter represent 5 meters. Now the length is 4 centimeters. So what's the actual length? 5 times 4. That's equal to 20 meters. So the PQ length is 20 meters. Now we'll take the next diagram. So you have given this is 70 meters and these are, this is 70 and 30. So we'll need to take a scale. I'll take 10 meters to represent 1 centimeter. 10 meters for 1 centimeter. So what is 70 meters mean? 70 meters means you have to divide by 10 and multiply by 70. That means 7 centimeter. So you have to take 7 centimeter length here. So what we can do? First we have to draw both lines. So this is 90 degrees. Vertical line and a horizontal line first. So first we will take the vertical line, take any vertical line, we need 7 centimeters and then a horizontal line. But this should be 90 degrees, so what can we do? We can take the set square. So take the set square and then keep it here. This should be 90 degrees. And then I can draw the other line, horizontal line. I can draw the horizontal line like this. Now P point is okay. This is P point. Then what you do, take 7 centimeter length and mark it. So take your ruler. You have to measure 7 centimeters now. So you take the ruler here, measure 7 centimeters. So here 7 is here. That's 7 centimeters. That's the, that's this point. Then what you do after that, we need 70 degree angle and 30 degree angle from here. Now look at carefully, but we don't know this length. So what we can do, you can draw a horizontal line first, this line first, and then from there you can measure downwards, angle of depression there. Take the set square here and then drag it, drag this along this line 
to get a horizontal line and connect it here. So that's the horizontal line. Again, we need to measure 70 degree angle and 30 degree angle from here. So take the protractor and you have to take it other way around. So here you have to take upside down now and then keep it here, this position. Yeah, the line should tally with this one. Now you can measure 30 degree angle and 70 degree angle. So 30 means from this way, 30 means 150 here. And 70 means 110. So mark those points and then you have to connect those two with the ruler. So here this way and this way. So those are the points. Now this is A, this is B. Now we need to mark this is 30 and this one we measured 70. So, the question asked to find out AB, this length. So, we need to measure that. So, take the ruler and I'll keep it other way around and then measure from here. So, here keep it there, adjust it so that it's on the same line, measure it. So here I can drag this. What's the value? 9.8, 9.8 centimeters. So I'll write down the value. 9.8 centimeters. What's the actual length? Actual length is you need to multiply this by 10 because 1 centimeter represents 10 meters. So 9.8 centimeter is you need to multiply this by 10. You get 98 meters for AB. Now we'll look at example 1 in your textbook. You have given from a 60 meter tall lighthouse. So this is 60 meter tall lighthouse. A boat A is observed at sea with an angle of depression 31. So from here 31 and another boat B angle of depression of 45. The two boats and the lighthouse are in the same vertical plane. Draw a scale diagram depicting the above information and find the distance between the boats A and B. So we need to measure this length. So we'll try to draw a scale diagram. So we have to take a scale. So I'll take 10 meters. Rep 10 meter represent 1 centimeter. Then what about 60 meters? 60 meter means you have to divide by 10 and multiply by 60. You get 6 centimeter. So this length is 6 centimeter. So we have to draw the diagram. So here first we'll take the set square and draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. So here I can take the ruler. I want to first draw a vertical line here.
and a horizontal line. I'll take the fifth square here and draw a horizontal line. So this should be here 90 degree angle. So I can take it other way around. And draw the horizontal line. So this is the ground level. And then what we do? I need 6 centimeter from this point. So here I can measure 6, six, centim six centimeters from here and mark the point. So this is 6 centimeters. That's this position. And then I need another horizontal line. So how can I do? I can take the set square here and keep on top of this line and draw the line. So I can draw the horizontal line as well. Then what can I do? I need to measure 31 and 31 degrees and 45 degrees from that position. So you take the protractor. Take the protractor and I need to measure other way around. So keep it here and then measure 31 degrees. So 31 means what's the angle here? From here 31. So we'll calculate that. 180 minus 31, I get 149. So 149 from here. So here 140, 150. So here 149 is somewhere here. Then I need this way 45 means other way around 100. 35. The other angle is 135. So I can mark here. Then what you do? Take the ruler and draw the lines. So this is this line and this is the other line. Then we can mark the angles. This is 31 and this is 45. So what are the, this is 6 centimeter we can mark and this is B boat and this is A. Now they are asking what's the distance between A and B. Now we need to measure B A length. So we need to take the ruler and measure. So I'll take the ruler and measure AB length. So I'll keep it here. What's the length? 4 centimeters. So you get 4 centimeter for the length. So I can write this is 4 centimeters. Is a scale length. So what's the actual length? Actual length is... You have to multiply this by 10. So 1 centimeter is 10 meters. So 4 centimeter means 10 times 4. You get 40 meters is the distance between these two boats. Now we'll take example number 2. In a horizontal playing ground, Delaney is standing at the location A, 5 meters away from a netball goal post. So here, it's better to sketch the diagram first. So in a horizontal playground, Delaney is standing at the location A. We'll take this one as A, 5 meter away from a netball goal post. So here, 5 meter away from a netball goal post. She can see the top of the goal post T. This is T. 
with an angle of elevation 18 degrees. So this is 18. And she can see the base of the post. Now here we have to take the height of the height of the lini. Otherwise it's so if we take eye level as the ground level we can't draw. So here best thing is to take the height also height of the lini as well. So here we'll see we'll take this is the eye level and this is the post goal post that's 5 meter away and the angle of elevation from here is 18 degrees and angle of depression from here to the base of the goal post here is 15 degrees. So this is 15 given. Draw a scale diagram and find the Linney's height and the height of the goal post. So you need to measure this one, this height and this height and find out the actual length. So we'll try to draw this diagram. So what's the first step? You have to take here vertical and a horizontal line. Best thing is to take the set square. So take the set square and draw a vertical. I'll take this way. So I'll draw it here, somewhere here. Draw the vertical and the horizontal lens. So I'll draw a line here. That's the ground level and the vertical, vertical height is here. Then what's the next step? You have to take 5 meter length. Now we'll take a scale. We'll take 1 meter represent 2 centimeters we need a bigger one bigger diagram so here 5 meters what's the length 2 times 5 that means we need 10 centimeter length to represent this one so take the ruler and measure 10 centimeter length here Keep it here and then measure 10 centimeter length. So I'll mark it here. That's 10 centimeters. So I can write this is 10 centimeter length. Then what's the next step? I need to draw a horizontal line here to measure the angles. So take the set square or set square is the easiest one because you need to draw a perpendicular line to this one. So I'll take the set square here, this one. I can measure I can drag it along this line. Now here, we don't know this height. So what we can do? We don't know where to take this. We can find out using this angle. Now if this is 15, what is this angle? This is also 15. Alternate angles are equal. So this is 15 means we can measure that angle. So you don't need to worry about this point. So we'll take the protractor. So you don't need the set square. Take the protractor. Measure 15 degree angle from here. Keep it here. 
and then measure 15 this way. So, 180 minus 15. What's the angle? 165. So, 165 is here. So, you measure that angle and draw a line. So, we'll draw the line. Connect with the ruler. So, take this point and connect with this point. Then we can find out this position. Now, what we do? We can draw a horizontal line with the set square. So, take the set square, I'll take this way, it's easy. First, keep it here on top of these two lines and then you can drag it to this point and draw the horizontal line. Then, what's the next step? You have to measure 18 degree angle from here. That's angle of elevation. So, take the protractor and measure 18 degrees from here. So, 18 you can measure that way. So, 0, 18 is somewhere mark it and then take the ruler and connect it. Then what we need to draw now? A vertical line. So take the set square again. Take the set square. Now we can draw the line the vertical line from this point. So, this is the vertical line. Now, what we need to do? We need to measure this length and this length. This is Dilini's height and this is the height of the goal post. Now we'll take the ruler and measure or you can use a set square to measure the length. So we'll measure this one. What's the value? Exactly 6 centimeters here and what about this side? This side is 26 centimeters. So, we can write down this height is 2.6 centimeters. This is 6 centimeters. So, what's the height of the height of Dilini? So, height of Dilini Height of Dilini is, this is 2.6 and what's the scale we have taken? 2 centimeter, 1 meter. So, 2 centimeter means 1 meter. What about 2.6 centimeters? You divide by 2 and multiply by 2.6, you get 1.3 meters. That's the height of Dilini. What about the height of the post? 2 centimeter represent 1 meter. 6 centimeter represent 1 over 2 times 6. That's 3 meters. So the height of the goal post is 3 meters. 
and the height of the line is 1.3 meters. Exercise 32.3 in your textbook. Draw scale diagrams according to the given information and find the length AB. Now, you know how to draw according to the scale. First, you have to take a scale and then use the set square or and ruler and the protractor to measure angles and lengths. So, We'll do this one. So this 30 meter length is given and 50 degree angle. So what's the first step? I'll explain how to draw that 30 meter. What's the scale we can take? We'll take 6, 6 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what is 30 meter means? 1 divided by 6 into 30, you get 5 centimeters. So you take 5 centimeter length here, draw a line. So here that's the first step. Draw a line, measure 5 centimeter and mark CB. Then take the protractor, keep on top of this line and measure 50 degree angle and draw this line. Then what's the next step? You have to draw 90 degree angle. So how we measure 90 degree angle? We take the set square, keep it here on top of that and draw the, this line. So when you draw all these lines, the intersection point is the point A. Then take the ruler and measure this length. So I got 6.3 centimeter for this scale. So what's the actual length? I can find out the actual length using this scale. 1 centimeter represent 6 meters. Then 6.3 centimeter represent 6 multiplied by 6.3. So multiply. 6 times 3, 18, 1 remaining, 6 times 6, 36, plus 1, 37. So the answer is 37.8 meters is the length AB. Now we'll take this one. This is 20 meter length is given. We'll take the scale 5 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what about 20 meters? 20 meters means 1 over 5 times 20 you get 4 centimeters. So what we do first you have to draw the ground level ground level this line and using the set square you draw this line as well. Then you take the ruler, measure 4 cm length and mark BC. Then from here, this is 35. So you measure 35 from that and draw this line. The intersection point is A. Then take the ruler and measure this length. So I got 2.9 cm. Now what's the actual AB length? We can find out using the scale. 1 centimeter represent 5 meters. I got 2.9 centimeters. So that's 5 times 2.9. 5 times 9, 45. 4 remaining. 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. So 14.5 meters is the length of AB. Part C, how can we draw this diagram? You have to first take the scale. I'll take this 25 meter is 5 meter represent 1 centimeter. So then 25 meters means 
1 over 5 times 25, that's 5 centimeters. So you take the length here, first draw the ground level and take 5 centimeter distance. So this point, you have to take these two points as 5 centimeter, take the protractor and measure 35 degrees and draw this line. Then what you do? Keep the protractor here and draw from here 50 degree angle and then draw this line. The intersecting point is point D and take the set square, keep it on top of here and draw the vertical line. Then you are asked to find out AB length. So where is AB? Here. So measure this length using the ruler. So I got 7.2 centimeters. Now we'll find out what's the actual length. So here what's the scale we used? 1 centimeter represent 5 meters. I got 7.2 centimeters. So multiply by 5 you get the actual value 5 times 2 10 1 remaining 5 times 7 35 plus 1 36 so 36 meters is the answer for length ab now we'll take the next one look at this question 40 meter length is given so i'll take the scale as 10 meters represent 1 centimeter, then 40 meters means 4 centimeters. So this length is 4 centimeters. So what we can do here, first draw the horizontal line, that's the ground level, this line, and then using the set square, you can draw the vertical line as well. This is 90 degree angle. And measure 4 centimeter length. And mark here. So here this is the point. That's C. So D here, C there. Then use the protractor and measure 35 degree here. And draw this line and draw 40 degree and draw this line. Then what's the next step? You measure here to here. So this is A point, this is B point. Measure the two lengths. I got 10.7 centimeter. So you might get a very closer value to this. Then how we convert the value? I need the actual length. 1 centimeter represent 10 meters. I got 10.7 centimeters. So what's the actual length? 10 times 10.7. I get 107 meters as the answer. Part E. What's the first step we can do? We can take the scale. So this time I'll take 12 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what about 60 meters? 1 over 12 times 60. Then you get 5 centimeter length. So this length is 5 centimeters. So here I can take 5 centimeters. So the first step, take the ruler, draw this line. And with the set square, you can draw the vertical line. Use the protractor, measure this angle and then draw 25 degree angle here and then 50 degrees from here because 25, 25 becomes 50. 50 degree angle and draw this line. So the intersection point becomes A. Here. Then you measure this length. I got 
centimeters. Now we'll find out the actual length of AB. So we took 1 centimeter represent 12 meters. Then I got 3.7 centimeters. So what's the actual length? 12 times 3.7. What's the answer? Multiply by 10 and 2. You get 41.4 meters as the length of AB. Now we'll take the next part. What's the first step? Take a scale. So I'll take this one. 5 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what about 10 meters? 1 over 5 into 10, that means 2 centimeter length. So what we do, take the ruler and the z square, draw this line and the vertical line first. And measure 2 centimeter and mark the point. Use the set square again and draw the horizontal line. Protractor. Use the protractor and measure 25 degrees and draw this line. Then you need 30 degrees also. Keep the protractor here. Measure 30 degrees this way and draw this line. So the intersection point of this one is and this one is B. And how can we draw the vertical line again? Keep the set square and drag it here till you get the point B. And from B you can draw the vertical line. And then you can find point A. Now measure the, this length. I got 3.8 centimeters. So what's the actual length? Actual length, we can use the scale. For that, I can use the scale. 1 centimeter represent 5 meters. What about 3.8 centimeters? So I can multiply 5 into 3.8. Then this becomes the value in meters. 5 times 8, 44 remaining. 5 times 3, 15 plus 4, 19. So 19 meters is the answer for length AB. Part G. Look at the diagram carefully. We asked to find out the length AB. In this case, length AB is given. So something wrong in this question. So we can't draw it properly because here we don't need with this information actually we don't need this part so we can't draw the full diagram so we have to skip this question question number two a person observes a rocket from a point 400 meter horizontally away from the launching pad when the rocket has traveled 700 meters vertically up from the launching pad. Using a scale diagram, find the angle of elevation. So you are asked to find out this angle. So you have to take a scale. I'll take 100 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what you have to do? 400 meters means you have to divide by 100. That means 4 centimeters. 700 meters means 1 over 100 into 700. So you get 7 centimeters. So what we can do, you take the ruler, first draw the horizontal line and then use the z square, draw the vertical line, measure for 400 and 700. You get these two points and then connect. Then use the protractor to measure this angle. 
so I got 60 degree angle so what's the angle of elevation in this case 60 degrees this is roughly approximately 60 degree angle for the angle of elevation question number three a ladder leaning against a wall is shown in the figure draw this one 6 meters 60 degree this is the ladder find the length of the ladder that means this part and distance from the foot of the ladder to the wall this length we need to find out this length and this length so you have to select a suitable scale I'll take 1 meter represent 1 centimeter if I take that what is 6 meter means 6 centimeter so you take 6 centimeter length there so first step is to take the ruler and draw this horizontal line and the vertical line from the set square you can draw the vertical line then if this is 60 what is this angle 30 you keep the protractor here and measure 30 degree angle and draw this line the intersection point here and here is the length of the ladder so measure that this length and you need to measure this length so i got 3.5 for the horizontal distance and the length of the ladder is 7 centimeters so what's the actual length use the scale 1 centimeter represent 1 meter so 7 centimeter means 7 meter length so that's the length of the ladder what about this one I got 3.5 so 1 centimeter is 1 meter how about 3.5 centimeters so 3.5 meters so this distance is 3.5 meters question number four a ramp for the use of wheelchairs to access a building is shown in the figure draw a suitable diagram using the given information and find the length of the ramp this is given 1.5 meters and 5 degree angle so what's the first step we can do take a scale I'll take 1 meter 1 centimeter then 1.5 meters you have to take 1.5 centimeters so take the ruler first draw the horizontal line and the vertical line take the set square and draw the vertical line and measure 1.5 centimeters and draw a line then what we do so this is the diagram so I'll first take the horizontal one take the vertical one measure 1.5 and draw a line now this is 5 degrees then what about this angle this angle 90 minus 5 85 degrees so we can measure 85 from there and draw the line so I can draw this line the intersecting point and this point is the length so what's the length so here I got 12.1 centimeter for this length so what's the actual length convert it to meters 1 centimeter represent 1 meter so what is 12.1 centimeter means 12.1 meter so here in this question they ask find the length of the ramp the length of the ramp is this length not this one so here I got 12.5 centimeters now we'll find out the actual length 
So actual length is here 1 centimeter represent 1 meter. So 12.5 centimeter represent 12.5 meter. So the actual length of the ramp of the ramp is 12.5 meters. Question number 5. The mathematics teacher Mr. Veera Sekar asked Chanuka to find the height of an inaccessible mango tree. Chanuka finds using his clinometer that the angle of elevation of the highest point P from the tree from a point A on the horizontal ground is 30 degrees and that angle of elevation of the same point P from a point B which is 10 meter closer to the tree than A is 40. The points A and B and the mango tree are in the same vertical plane. Find the height of mango tree by drawing a suitable scale diagram. Here it says ignore Chanukas height. So that means the eye level you have to take as the ground level. So how we can draw the diagram. So take the ruler. Draw the horizontal line. That's the ground level. And you have to take a point. This is Chanukka's place. So when he looks at the tree, top of point B, the angle of elevation is 30. No? So you take the protractor, measure 30 degrees and draw this line. Then I'll take the scale. 2 meters represent 1 centimeter. Then what's the length? 10 meters. 1 over 2 into 10, that means 5 centimeter. So you take 5 centimeter length and mark the other point. And there the angle of elevation is 40 degrees. So measure the 40 degrees and draw this line. The intersection point is the point P. Then take the set square and draw a vertical line to that. This line. So the this is the height of the tree. So when you measure, I got 8.8 .8 centimeters. So what's the actual length? 1 centimeter represent 2 meters. 8.8 .8 centimeters means multiplied by 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 8, 16 plus 1, 70. So 17.6 meters is the answer. Question number 6. Mr. Pires observes that the angle of elevation to the top of a coconut tree from the upper floor balcony of his house is 40 degrees. The distance from his house to the coconut tree is 6 meters. Find the minimum length of a picking pole he could pluck coconuts with from the upper floor balcony. So here, first we'll take the scale. 6 meters is there. So I'll take 1 meter, 1 centimeter. Then 6 meter represent 6 centimeter. So here you have to take 6 centimeter length. So if this is the flow ground level, first we'll draw the line and measure 6 centimeter distance. Then what you do, take the protractor and measure 40 degree angle and draw this line. Then you have to think about 90 degree angle. Take the set square and draw this vertical line. The intersection point here is the B point. Now in this question, they ask find the minimum length of the picking pole he could pluck coconuts with from the 
upper floor balcony. So which side? This length. This length is the length of the pole. So here, when you measure here to here, you get 8 centimeters for that. So we found 8 centimeters. So what's the actual length of the pole? 1 centimeter represent 1 meter. So 8 centimeters means 8 meters. So the length of the pole, minimum, minimum length should be 8 meter pole. Question number 7. The prefix Sithira was assigned the task of making arrangements for hosting the national flag at the Independence Day celebrations. Sithira needed to find the height of the flagpole. Form the upper floor of a building 10 meter from the flagpole. Using his clinometer, he observed the top of the flagpole with an angle of elevation 20 degrees and the bottom of the flagpole with an angle of depression of 50. Draw a scale diagram using this information and find the height of the flagpole to the nearest meter. Okay, so we'll see the distance is given 10 meters. So I'll take the scale. 2 meters represent 1 centimeter. So 10 meter represent multiply you get your centimeters you get 5 centimeter length so what's the first step you draw this line ground level measure 5 centimeter distance then it says angle of depression is 50 degrees and angle of elevation is 20 degrees now this angle and this angle is given. 50 degrees, this is given. So we don't know this height. So what we can do? We know using alternate angles, this angle is also 50 degrees. So we can measure that. Take the protractor, measure 50 degree angle and draw this line. Then Take set square, draw the vertical line and the intersection point is the, is this point. That's the top of the building. Then you can draw the horizontal line using set square and measure 20 degree angle and draw this line. And also use the set square to measure Use set square to draw a vertical line from here and find out the intersecting point. Here to here is the length of the flagpole. Measure that. I got 7.9 centimeters. So what's the actual length? 1 centimeter represent 1 centimeter represent 2 meters then I need 7.9 centimeters. 2 times 7.9. 15.8 meters is the length of the flagpole. Question number 8. The diagram is given. The top of P of a clock. The top of the top P of a clock tower situated on a horizontal ground has an angle of elevation of 60 from a point A at a brink of a building. The angle of elevation of P from point B in the building which is 5 meter directly above the point A is 45 degrees. See figure on the right using a suitable scale diagram find the height of the clock tower and the distance from A to foot Q. So this length and this length we have to find. So these two angles are given. So you can draw the scale diagram. So what you can do? Take the scale first. So I can, I'll take, this is 5 meters now. So 2 meters, 1 centimeter. Then what about 5 meters? 
1 divided by 2 into 5, I can take 2.5 centimeters. So first thing, I can draw a line here and a vertical line. Take the set square and draw the vertical line. And measure 60 degree angle here and measure this line as well. Again, from here, now to measure 2.5 centimeter from here. Then what can I do? Draw a line and this angle 45, this is 90. So what's the full angle? This is 90 and 45. What's the full angle? 135. So take the protractor, measure 135 and draw this line. So we can find out the intersecting point. And also take the set square and draw the vertical line towards this point and measure here to here. That's the height of the clock tower. And also here to here distance, that's the AQ distance. So I got 3 centimeter for that and 5.5 for the height of the clock tower. Now we'll calculate the length. 1 centimeter represent 2 meters. What about 5.5 centimeters? So multiply by 2, you get 11 meters for the height of the clock. What about the AQ distance? 3 centimeter is there. 1 centimeter is 2 meters. What about 3 centimeters? 3 times 2, you get 6 meters is AQ length. Question number 9. An observer who stands on a horizontal ground 3 meters away from a bell tower observes the top of a bell tower with an angle of elevation of 60 and the bottom of the clock tower with an angle of depression of 25 degrees. Using a suitable scale diagram, find the height of the clock tower and the height of the observer. Now we have to take a scale. I'll take 1 meter represent 1 centimeter. Then what about 3 meters? I need 3 centimeter length. So what we can do, first you draw the ground level and mark two points with 3 centimeter length. So this is 3 centimeter length. Then what you do, take this one angle of depression is 25 means this angle is 25. So we know According to alternate angles, this is equal, this is also 25. So you can measure that angle and draw this line. Then what's the next step? You take the set square, keep it here and draw the horizontal line and measure 60 degree angle using a protractor. So you get this line as well. So the intersecting point of this one and this line is the vertical line. So again, you have to take the set square and draw the vertical line as well. Then the intersecting point of these two is the height of this. So height of the clock tower. So I got 6.7 centimeters. So what's the height of the clock? 1 centimeter represent 1 meter. 6.7 centimeter means 6.7 meters. That's the height of the clock tower. And they're asking what's the height of the observer here to here. I got 1.5 centimeter. 
So, height of the observer, 1 centimeter represent 1 meter. Then what about 1.5 centimeters means 1.5 meters. That's the height of the observer. So this is the end of this chapter and this is the last lesson in your textbook. So I'll meet you with the grade 11 work.